Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dukes of Hazard. We're going to talk about Tesla, and we're going to talk about Hope for America. All right, so I don't know if you saw it, uh, but uh, somebody just jumped a Tesla 50 feet in the air, right? Uh, 50 feet through the air, right? It's, it's incredible, right? So um, I would love to link to it, but I really can't. Um, uh, and basically the reason why is because this, uh, this like 30 second video, uh, is as exciting as, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. There's already like ownership fights over it. And so like there's copyright strikes and so I can't link to it, but all you need to do is just type in jumping a Tesla on any social media site like today and you will see this video, right? Cause it's going absolutely viral. It's probably as I'm sure it has over a million views by now. Right. And uh, so guy jumped a Tesla, right? And by the way, they're like, not only will you see that, but you'll see like literally a hundred plus videos like breaking down like every single detail of the jump, right? So so a an American driver um, jumped a Tesla 50 feet, okay? On a public street, right? And the moment, and I watched the video, so, so literally, I think the, the internet news show, like, did, did, like, literally, like, a 20-minute breakdown of it, and I immediately went over and, you know, watched the actual source video, right? And, um, and it is exactly what it said. It's, like, over on the West Coast on a public street, they found this uh, road that is a hill, right? I, I think it might be near San Francisco. And, um, and this person just takes this Tesla and... Um, you know, runs it up this hill and jumps this Tesla 50 feet, right? And I was like, holy cows. I haven't seen anything like that since the Dukes of Hazard. So if you don't know, when I was six years old, I lived in Hayhira, Georgia. And so I was surrounded by, uh, by Southern culture. And, um, and I got a taste for Southern culture. I love the South. And I'm a huge fan of Dukes of Hazard, right? And boy, oh boy, when you watch this Tesla jump, this is Dukes of Hazard to the nines. The only thing missing is uh, is Roscoe P. Coltrane, his Basset Hound Flash, in their 1974 Dodge Monaco patrol car. That's the only thing that's missing, right? It, like, it is this this American driver just created Dukes of Hazard hazards in IRL. Like, it's just that's that's what it is. Period. Right. Now, this gave me incredible hope. Right in a hopeless time. So why was I given hope by this? All right, so one, before we go a second, for, a second uh, for, forward, let's talk about this American driver, right? So what is this American driver? There are a few things. They are not a model for any driver on the planet. No one should do this. This is a bad idea. No one should do this, okay? Two, they are um, incredibly reckless, okay? Three, they are incredibly foolish. This was outrageously foolish, right? Um, they are also incredibly brave. <laughs> uh, I would even say fearless, right? Uh, and they are incredibly cool. That's the problem. And uh, uh, hey, if you ain't paying attention, I would love to, to say things that are safe or cool, but that just is not the fact, right? Like, in fact, the more impractical, the more unsafe, the more cool. It's just, it's a fact, right? Like motorcycles are super unsafe. They are super cool, right? Like they are super impractical. They are super cool. It is a formula, like less, less, less practical, less safe, more cool. It is just a formula that is a reality of life, right? I love to tell you that safe things are cool, but they're not, right? Like impractical, unsafe things are cool, period. So this, 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 this was definitely cool, right? Like, there's just no way around that, right? And so why did it give me hope? Well, I have been living in a hopeless world, right? Like, I before, on February 23rd, right, We I looked at my nation and I said, I feel safe because I have a strong American military to keep me safe, right? Um, we have the bravest. We have the best equipped. We have the best trained soldiers in the world, and I know that every single one of them is willing to pay the 10 prime price for me. I know it, right? These, like, they are the best military in the world, bar none, to the man, to the woman, right? But on February 24th, 
right? Vladimir Putin put the whole world on notice, right? And, you know, that we were we were back in the 8th century, right? And that sovereign nations would roll on sovereign nations and take the land, right? In order to take the land, right? And then, a couple weeks after that, when Vladimir Putin's villainy had reached a point where no sovereign nation on the planet could stand by as a mother and her unborn child's lives are taken and not recognize the villainy that was being enacted. The villainy was in your face. It was unmitigated and it was shockingly clear, right? And what I learned then is that President Biden said, I'm your commander in chief. And here's, here's the fact. My spirit, my, my fighting spirit, it is in the following list of states. Broken or never was there. I don't know which one. I don't know if if uh, President Biden had a fighting spirit at one point and now it's been broken, or if he never had one to begin with. I don't know. I do not know the answer to that. But the answer really doesn't matter to me which one is true, right? The other thing is, he's like, I'm your commander-in-chief, and I, uh, I value caution a hundred times more uh, than I value courage, right? And that terrified me. I'm like, oh my gosh, the military that I paid for, right, can be negated, can be benched, can be set to zero, right? And that means my protection is on three things, right? God above, right? That's first and foremost. Me and, okay, and actually, you know what? It's not even on God, right? God doesn't, God never promised to keep me on this earth. He, it's not on him to keep me safe here, right? He promised that he'll keep me safe up there, right? So I can't even rely on God to keep me safe here, right? I don't know his will, right? So I don't know if it's in his will for me to stay here, right? So if I want to be safe, President Biden put me on notice. Hey, Scott Garibay, I will not protect you. I will not protect you, right? As global villains make their way across the earth, I will do nothing. That's what President Biden said. I'm listening and I understand that my safety is on me now and one other person. The American next to me, on both sides, it's you, right? We have to protect this nation, right? And and this is the world we've landed in. We can protect this nation, but U.S. military soldiers can literally be told not to. You and I are the front line now, right? We've been put on notice by President Biden that we're the only ones who can protect this country because if you sign up to be a U.S. Marine, uh, a U.S. Naval, you know, um, a U.S. Navy person, a U.S. Army person, a U.S. Air Force person, you are, you are in a special position where you can be told not to fight for the country, right? Like that's being, that's happening right now, right? Like it, it's not like a, a concept; it's a reality, right? Like you know, like there's global villainy that's absolutely a threat to us. Like we've been literally threatened, right? Like, and Biden has benched. The, you know, the greatest resource we have. So it's on me and it's on you, right? Now, I, uh, now, can I rely on myself? The answer's yes. Now, that answer would always be that way. I struggle with arrogance, so of course I have confidence in myself. Do I have confidence in you? Are you going to help me be safe when Vladimir Putin shows up with a 40 mile, uh, with a 40 mile convoy of military vehicles in New York City? Can I rely on you? I don't know. I don't know if I can rely on you. But you know who I know I can rely on? That American Tesla driver. <laughs> that person was was willing to pay the 10 pint price just to be cool, right? And I can tell you right now, that reckless, dangerous American driver, right? When it comes to throwing down, when it comes to pushing back a global villain, yeah. I'm very confident they're going to be there on the front line with me. Yeah, that restores my hope, right? When it comes to being safe, the only thing that is really necessary is, are you ready to pay the 10 prime price? I say I'm ready to be to, to pay the 10 price. You, people are like, oh, you don't know what you're going to do. You're right. I don't know if I'm going to be ready to pay the 10 prime price. I don't know. I believe I'm ready. We'll find out when it comes. When Vladimir Putin shows up with a 40-mile military convoy in New York City, I think I'm going to be ready, but we'll find out, right? I can tell you what I think, but that's all I think. I don't have proof. That American driver, Tesla driver, they got proof, right? They got bravery, and they are 
very willing to pay the ten bright price, right? Like I, that is very, very clear, right? That gives me incredible hope that when Vladimir Putin shows up with a forty-mile military convoy in the middle of New York City, I ain't going to be the only one ready to fight, right? Like, like, and you know, and I'm still there's still question mark on me. You're we don't know until it goes down, right? But that person has got a viral video collecting millions of views by the day saying, oh yeah, they're going to be there. That's an American who's ready to pay the 10 point price, right? No question. Fearless to, to the end of the day, right? Reckless and foolish, but that won't be a problem on the battlefield, in my opinion, right? Like, in fact, courage, which this person does not lack, is absolutely going to be needed. In fact, in fact, it's a person who values courage over caution, right? And frankly, right now, I think, I, I think, I'm not positive because there's still, you know, we're still getting some information back on who this person is, who Racer X is, right? But I, I think I would rather have, I can tell you right now, I would rather have a person who values courage over caution as my commander in chief. I definitely would. And that is definitely true of that American Tesla driver, Racer X, because <laughs> I don't think we know the, the identity yet. So this gave me a lot of hope. And I'm curious, what's giving you hope today? Uh, I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.